this video, we'll show you how the use of an in-position layout when printing a merge file allows you to print multiple pages in a corral file onto one page. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. In the last video, I showed you how to lay out your template and then do your print merge function. We had 652 names and we merged it all onto one new file. Um, for this demo here, I've shortened the list down and created the list down to 68 plates. So how do we get 68 plates? Instead of printing out 68 pages and doing each individual plate, we can use the imposition layout within the print command to facilitate this. So we've got our 68 individual plates. We'll want to go ahead and file and print. Select your printer. In this case here, we'll just have a laser jet. It's kind of the same thing as maybe using your sublimation printer. And you can see we have 68 individual pages. What we can do is we can click the Layout tab, go into what's called the Imposition Layout, and edit this. You can see you've got one block here. If you click on this little magnifying tool right here, it'll actually show you the preview of the plates, and you can see we've got 68 plates here. So what we can do is, this was a 3 inch long plate, let's say we've got an 11 inch wide plate, uh, paper so we can get at least three across and we can get um, eight down and you can see now what just happened is page number one was right here and number two number three so on and so forth we got 24 individual play paper pages onto one piece of paper now you can see I've narrowed it down to just three pieces of paper that we can print out once you finish this scenario here we can go ahead and close this down and we've got our pieces of paper you can see we've got three separate pieces of paper before we print it out though how do we know where to start and stop cutting our plates so what we can do is on the pre-press pre -press tab we have crop fold marks here we can click on this exterior only and now you can see on the piece of paper it gave us crop marks of where the column starts and stops so you can cut it apart properly also for sublimation we need to mirror it so we can click on the mirror button and now you can see that all the plates have been flipped so you can print it out appropriately once you've done that you can either click on the apply button and it'll save it for you you can cancel out or you can print at this time. And that's about it. Just using the print and position layout.